excels as well. So sometimes they might just look for the comfort pick. Um, I know a comfort sometimes can really aid the player in some of these high stake moments. All right, but let's go ahead and get right into this, man. Hayden Yoshi getting ready to face off against uh, Goofy here, man. And Ooh. God dang! Yeah, those up airs. Up tilt up airs, they combo so well in this game compared to the last game. You'd be surprised. And they can get some KOs, too. I've seen up air, up air into, like, egg, and that actually KO. That's right. All right, but Harden Yo Okay, so one is named Harden Yoshi. The other is named Goofy. Goofs. <laughs> Boy, Goofs. Okay, up tilt. Oh, I love the patience. They're baiting out the air dodge that time and trying to reset that combo. Okay, beautiful neutral air out of shield. I remember back in the day when Yoshi couldn't do anything out of shield. And I like that parry into going back into shield. This guy just wants to punish out of shield every time. That's right. Okay. I, I think a lot of times people get caught up in the fact that, you know, Yoshi is such a, a momentum-heavy character, Ooh. man. But sometimes it's just those one or two solid hits. That is all it, all it really needs there to try to close out the stock. Okay, he went a little too hard for that one. I think he was hoping that he would land fast enough so he could get that F smash instead of going for like up tilt up air. Yeah. Okay, I love seeing that. Yeah. They know exactly when that dare ends. You notice that? Every time, <laughs> man. I mean, they're just so damn well, well aware of each other's characters. Yeah, like, oh, uh, wait a minute. Uh oh. They almost Whoa. got a shield break. You gotta watch yourself. All right, that new thing with uh, Yoshi, the down B actually goes through the platform. Mm. That always blows my mind. I'm not sure if like you hold down, that's what makes it go through the platform, or if it just always goes through it. But um, hopefully we'll be able to find out from the, these two Yoshi players. Probably ask one of them. Okay, and I like these safe approaches right here that we're seeing, especially from Hayden. Um, he knows, obviously, you know, he's uh, at a pretty late percent right here, 145 to be exact. Oh, my God. Ooh. Well, it doesn't matter what getting ready to say anyway. I mean, I, I was going to touch on the fact that he's just running up, holding shield, mm -hmm. waiting for uh, an option, and tossing out up tilt, man. Just trying to go for some safe conversions. Nothing too crazy. Yeah, but it looks like Goofy's starting to realize that. So yeah. instead of just, you know, throwing out something on shield, he waits a little bit for and hoping for Harden Yoshi to actually drop the shield. However, I think he should go for a little bit more grabs. So we'll, we'll see what he goes for this time around because he did catch up. That's I heard 74% right. in that short period of time. I like that. He did something on his shield, tried to get punished by a neutral air, and then he punished the opponent for trying to punish him with neutral air with the neutral air. That's right, man. It's some big brain inception stuff going <laughs> on, man. Okay, reset the neutral, low profiling. I like that a lot. The down tilt, and then not in the right position to punish. Definitely made him pay the ultimate price right there. There's something about these dragons and dinosaurs where they do their F smash, they like lean backwards before they do it. And they actually, whoa. Okay, I think that was out of the second jump, and that's why that was okay. Yeah. Okay, double back here, trying to cross each other up here. He finally finds an opening. Let's see if he can make some magic happen off stage right now. I mean, he's allowed Hayden to kind of recover back goodness. to the stage for free. Sheesh. Oh, my goodness. Harden Yoshi going really hard for that KO already. Fishing for, like, three different KO moves and is now taking about 50% for that. He needs to slow it down just a little bit before Goofy gets that F smash himself. That's right, man. Things are certainly getting goofy right here for Hayden Yoshi, man. Uh oh, there he's looking for it. <laughs> that was really smart. I think he was anticipating either a roll or a get-up attack off the ledge. That would have been the right punish, man. All right, this is what I see happen sometimes to people. They, like, fish a little too hard for the KO, and next thing you know, they take, like, 80%. That's what happened to Harden Yoshi. However, now he might be able to play a little more calm and a little smarter since yeah. he does have the lead right now. That's right. And I think he knows now he can't quite sleep on Goofy. I know in that last stock, he had the lead for quite a bit, and Goofy was kind of able to chisel away at him just enough there to get the stock taken. Now he's like, I just need to shut the door on him. Triple oh up there for his troubles. Oh, my god! And gosh. then the forward smash to end game number one. Good stuff right there, man, to Hayden Yoshi. Landed right on him. Good stuff right there coming out from Hayden Yoshi. Let's see if we see a character change. I doubt it. <laughs> Goofy probably mains Yoshi. I right. think there's a bit of a pride that goes into Ditto sometimes, you know. I think at, at any region, at any level, whether it's, you know, you, uh, you play locally or you play regionally or play at a major or whatever, I don't think anybody wants to be the one to have to switch off in a Ditto. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. But there's a weird thing also where people, they don't like to diddle, so as soon as the diddle starts, like, there's a chance of a diddle, they have some secondary character that they play for the diddle. Hmm. So let's see, let's see what happens here. Okay. All right, change of color. No yarn ball with Yoshi. Yeah, that could have been an issue. Yeah, get that yarn ball out of here. I'm tired I, of that. I, I want to say I like the battlefield that they chose. They chose, like, New Donk. It was a New Port City. Yeah, New Port. Yeah, New Port, New Donk. I don't know. <laughs> Everything's new, <laughs> new. In, in America. But here we go. Battle of BC3. Game number two. We're going to Pokemon Stadium 2. Okay. The, my favorite neutral of this game. Really? Yeah. I just love those two platforms. They're not big. They're nice and small. Reminds me of Smashville, but not moving. So... No jank, because there was some level of jank, or still is, some level of jank of Smashville when it's uh, no, uh, what is that thing called? No uh, hazards. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Or hazards on, sorry. Okay. But this definitely feels more neutral to me. All righty. Let's move right into this one right here. Hayden Yoshi kind of starting off this match the same way the last one did. You know, coming out, uh, swinging. Find a lot of openings, too, at these relatively low percents with Dare. 
I'm really appreciative of that. And then being able to just find the safe follow-ups right there, egg right into up tilt, and then really trying to force him off stage, either into a forward air conversion or just keeping him in off stage into a really awkward position. Uh-oh, and nice getting that back air. Goofy, um, again, losing in the beginning. However, bringing it back against Harden Yoshi whenever he gets near the KO percent. Always looking for that A against a forward air off the stage. I noticed that from both players. I feel like that's like a common combo for Yoshi's. And goodness gracious, have to be careful with that because it can break your shield. Absolutely. Oh, okay. <laughs> double, double egg right there. Let's get it. They both, I think, were waiting for the opponent to approach. So that's why they spaced their eggs like oh. right in front of the Yoshi. Oh, and then those tech chase situations are certainly scary, man. No matter if it's a diddle or if it's just a typical... Yoshi versus whatever character matchup, man. You got to watch how you get up because sometimes the Yoshi player get a little overzealous and try to chase you down and keep the combo going. All right, and then one thing I do like uh, that Harden Yoshi's doing, he does like to fish for KOs, mm -hmm. but instead of fishing for F Smash, recently he's been like going for that up smash because Yoshi likes to jump a lot. When you see Yoshi play, he runs up, jumps, does an attack, usually. So he goes to that up smash, assuming that his opponent's just going to jump right into it. Especially because Yoshi does a lot of times like neutral air out of shield and up smash will beat oh. that. My goodness, yes. And a lot of percent put on right there, too. This is certainly where Hayden seems to be most comfortable. Most opponents, obviously, when they're in the lead, they're probably the most comfortable. But he knows now Ooh. that Goofy has to approach. And Goofy definitely brought it right there, man. Being able to close out that stock, try to even it up. 59.3%, right. man. And we've seen in the last game, he was able to kind of uh, he was able to kind of bring it back from the depth. So let's see if he can tap into some of that here in this one. All right, and, and he's doing it again. I notice he's doing that, Um, or it looks like Goofy now is doing the up smash out of shield when he notices, or just running up smash when he notices that the opponent's at KO percent. So one thing both of these guys need to be able to realize is that, hey, at KO percent, I'm probably going to jump and I'm probably going to get KO'd. So let me just not jump or wait for that up smash and then punish afterwards if Yoshi does even have enough time to be able to punish afterwards. I agree. Okay. Yeah. Even stocks right here, playing close to the ledge too. Historically, this at least is how this match is uh, wrapped up in our last game, man. He definitely doesn't want to be anywhere close to the ledge. Double egg right there to give himself some coverage. He didn't want to burn the air dodge that time to get back to the stage. All right, and this might be the percent that we're looking for where he might go for it. However, at the ledge, usually we see F smashes or that down B, mm -hmm. but has to be careful again. Harden Yoshi might go for that running up smash. It looks like he's looking for it. He definitely is. There's a down to you got to watch Whoa. the tech chase. Interesting. Okay, I, I can see how he's going for the tech chase with it. Mm -hmm. And Harden playing a lot better this time around when having his opponent at KO percent. Instead of just fishing for KO attacks, he's actually just hopping around looking for those safe out-of-shield options to get the hits. Even if it doesn't KO, it racks up damage and makes it easier to KO later. Definitely. The falling up air too, man. That's some really sneaky stuff. Oh, my God. The Nair for his troubles. There's the egg. That should have been the forward smash opportunity right there. Trying to catch the air dodge. Nonetheless, let's see if Goof can turn this into beautiful, something. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. He almost got that egg. I knew he was waiting for that forward air, but there goes that up smash. Got to watch it when you're hanging out on the platform, especially on PS2. That platform is really low, yeah. so you can sometimes just throw it out. Yeah, the opponent sometimes get a little comfortable up there. You know what I mean? Yep. All okay. Right. Egg back. I like that. 113. Goofy certainly looking for it here. And then I like that immediate answer back right there with the Nair, pushing him off stage. But let's see if he can finally get a KO out here. I don't think he's got a KO off stage there for the majority of this game. But honestly, man, we can force smash off the ledge like that. Who needs any KOs off stage? Good stuff. Yeah, both of these guys are being really safe, making sure to not get KO'd off the stage, even though they're both looking for it, too. Jab lock. Okay, very nice. Harden Yoshi with that lead, similar to the last game, too. Now can he just close out the stock? He's about maybe like 20, 30 more percent before he can go for an up smash. Right, he's looking for it here. Okay, runs right up shield, trying to play the safe game here. He knows that he only has about a half percent lead here. Ooh, oh, oh, wait a minute. They are so good at dodging these eggs when they're off the stage. It'll just barely miss. Uh-oh, Goofy. Wait a minute. Oh, nice, okay. Uses the get-up attack there to give himself a little bit of breathing space. Okay, sends okay. him backwards with okay. the dare. Oh, wait a One minute. More. One Oh, he didn't want to go for it. He didn't. I don't know if he didn't think it'll hit or he had the shield and egg. Oh, Unfortunate. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take, man. Yep, and I like that up tilt. Fantastic. We're up tilt. Ooh. Wait a minute. Ooh. 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 Oh, that was smart, man. But then good stuff right there to Hayden. The air dies the opposite way. You know no. exactly what he's looking for. Yeah, so watch out with these jumps, uh, especially for Goofy, because remember, Hayden Yoshi always looking for that running up smash. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dash attack. Very clean. Okay. Not a lot of percent here separating both these two players. Trying to condition Ooh. them with the eggs. Ooh, one more. This guy keeps going for it. Oh, oh my no, he goodness. did not. Okay, Taro. He was hoping for him to drop the shield. He knows that he likes to stay in shield, so he thought, let me wait. Oh, Ooh. my. What? Oh, that was it, man. I hope he didn't show his hand too early. Oh, runs right up. Shows him the boot instead. He is way too. <laughs> he is really excited <laughs> for that one. Good stuff to Hayden Yoshi for being able to clutch it out.